All right guys, so today I'm gonna to show you how to make some charcoal with two clay pots and some dry wood. Now, this charcoal is gonna be used to later fuel this forge that I've made, which is just a broken down version of a small kiln that I have actually posted on my um, channel. It's just a smaller version of this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this charcoal, get it set up in here, get the forge started, and try and do some blacksmithing, some metal work with it. So we'll see how it goes. All right, for the first step, what you wanna do is make yourself two bowls. And really, um, you only really need one hole. You don't need two holes in this. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'll cover it uh, so that no air actually pulls from the bottom. Uh, and a hole as small as this would be fine. But really all you're gonna do is you're gonna get your two pots and you're gonna place your dead wood inside, dead and dry. Um, you don't wanna start this with green wood because it has too much moisture in it and it will not make charcoal. Um, you need a lot of heat and it's just, it's not ideal. What you want is already dried, sort of cured wood. Um, and that will make you very nice, very efficient charcoal to burn for your forge. And even if you didn't have a forge or wanted to use this for a forge, you could always bring this charcoal back for uh, Raku. It, it's high enough if you have enough charcoal you could fire raku uh, in a kiln like this uh, and get some raku glazes you might even be able to do wood ash uh, if you had a uh, wood ash glaze if you had some sort of um, um, blower or a strong enough draft but this will be fine uh, this will be an easy way to make charcoal. So uh, stick with me. I'm gonna show you how to get this started and um, hopefully get to put it into some. All right, so once you get it in there, all you're gonna do, set the, flip the pots and get a nice seal around the edges and then you're gonna stick it into this bigger kiln. Now you don't have to Put it in a kiln, you could use uh, a 20 gallon metal bucket or a five gallon metal bucket, something big enough to set your pots in where it also has enough space around it to add more fuel because what you're gonna be doing in here is burning more wood, which will in turn heat up this pot or these pots, um, heating up the wood inside and when the wood inside heats up without oxygen it will burn off all of the water and leave you with pure carbon uh so the pure carbon is what's ch is charcoal and it will burn the most efficient when you're using it for a forge all right the next step you're going to want to take is to add any pots uh, that haven't fully fired like this one Sometimes the bottom don't fire as well because they get stuck in ash um, so These are uh, jar oya and I'm making more oils for the garden uh, And these haven't been fired yet, but I want to see how they test with uh, This charcoal maker so all I'm gonna keep doing is adding more dead sticks onto this as I progress um, and then I'll eventually cover the entire thing with leaf and straw and really what you want to do is make sure that it's as tightly compact with organic material as possible and you're gonna light it up from the top and as it starts to pull down that fire starts to pull down it'll heat it at a more gradual temperature as where when starting the fire from the bottom 
um, everything lights up rapidly and you could really crack or even uh, spalled some of your pots like this one did the first time I fired it. Um, so next thing to do would be to stack up as much dead organic material that you can that's dry that will easily burn and uh, get ready. All right, so I filled it with dead twigs, branches, and then put leaves on top of all that, and then some more branches and leaves again. Um, so that kind of gives it a layering with the leaves so that it doesn't hit the pot automatically with such volatile temperatures. It'll kind of that leaf layer almost acts as like a um, how pottery shards sherds work if you cover them over a piece of pottery, um, almost like a thermal shield. So that'll kind of let it heat up without it getting too hot or without the flame touching it directly. Um, and this is really how I found the best way to fire my pots in this sort of kiln and I think it's going to work perfectly with the charcoal so that's how I set up my fuel so that I could uh, get it started. I did light it from the top just to make that completely clear. I lit the leaves at the top and it's working its way down. Alright so all you're going to do is let it fire all the way down until there's no more flame. If you have gloves you could take it out then, otherwise just let it die all the way down till there's no heat. And then we're gonna take it out and check out what the charcoal looks like. All right, so it has fired. I've already taken all the other pieces out. Just got down to ash. Still a little warm, but that's it. It's charcoal. And you can see the bottom hasn't been fully fired. And I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make something for this to sit on top of so this bottom can actually get burnt. Ooh, damn, that's hot. So, looks like it was very close to turning this all into charcoal. Uh, but I need to get that bottom layer hit. It gets covered in this ash, and this ash will insulate the bottom of this pot um, from really getting a lot of heat. So next time what I'm going to have to do is put it on two bricks and then put this on top to elevate it, and that'll get the bottom of it. But really wasn't wasn't that bad. I mean, you could still use this. I'm still going to try and use it, um, but I will try and make some better some better charcoal here uh, at a later date. But you get the idea. All you need to do is make a container that can hold cured dead wood and then you're going to need another container that can hold that container and you're going to have to fill the housing of the container holding your dead wood uh, with more debris that you can burn which will heat this vessel and start to create this thermal reaction inside where the water is dissipated from the carbon in this wood and you're just left with pure carbon. Uh, but that's the basis. There are a lot of uses for charcoal, which I can get into greater detail, but there's something called biochar where you can use it in your gardens. You can use charcoal for filters. Um, you can use charcoal for your forge. So there are a lot of different applications for it.